Is there anything else you'd like to talk about uh, in terms of terrorism? How are you defining it and including it in the book? Well, I could say it's another, it's a, it's another word for patriarchy. Um, it really is. And um, patriarchy's means uh, because, because it, it gets bandied about one man's terrorist is another man's hero, um, you know, and vice versa. Um, the women are token terrorists. Um, uh, it, it's classic definition, of course, is, is that seeking political change by violent means, um, which is not a bad definition, but it's broader than that for me because what induces terror in women, I open the book with a woman walking along a, a path. Um, it's, it could be a village path. It can be a parking lot. She can have a, a, a basket on her head with vegetables. She can have a briefcase in her hand. It doesn't matter. She's walking alone on a street or a path and she hears footsteps behind her and they're strong male footsteps. They're, they're identifiably male. And her palms begin to sweat. Her adrenaline increases. She quickens her step. She does not look around. She does begin, her eyes begin to dart for places of safety. And that is a state of terror. And whether she's on a village path, uh, whether she's an indigenous woman, whether she's a corporate executive, every woman in the world feels that in that situation. So how do you define terrorism? You're absolutely right. And back in the late 70s, when I was in Leeds working on pornography and violence against women, we, we created a newsletter which was called Fast Feminists Against Sexual Terrorism because we yes. really wanted to make that point. Yes, yes. It's not made enough. Yeah. So, and it's, it's, it's sexual terrorism, obviously, because it's sex-based, but, but it's also physical. Uh, it doesn't have to be specifically sexual. It's, it's, it's the state of terror.